morning everyone as we come together on Ascension Day for morning prayer. The day on which we remember Jesus returning to his Father and leaving his earthly place. And so it's Thursday the 21st of May. We also remember today that it is the beginning of thy kingdom come. So we begin with our opening responses. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your throne has been established from of old. You are from everlasting. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of heaven and earth. To you be glory and praise forever. From the darkness of death you have raised your Christ to that right hand of your majesty on high. The pioneer of our faith, his passion accomplished has opened for us the way to heaven and sends on us the promised spirit. May we be ready to follow the way and so be brought to the glory of his presence, where songs of triumph forever sound. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And we keep a few moments of silence as we gather ourselves before God this morning. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Let me come to uh, two psalms this morning, the first of which is Psalm 110. The refrain is, the Lord is King and has put on glorious apparel. And I'll say that at the beginning and at the end of the psalm. The Lord is king and has put on glorious apparel. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. May the Lord stretch forth the scepter of your power, rule from Zion in the midst of your enemies. Noble are you on this day of your birth, on the holy mountain from the womb of the dawn, the dew of your new birth is upon you. The Lord has sworn and will not retract. You are a priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek. The king is at your right hand, O Lord, shall smite down kings in the day of his wrath. In all his majesty he shall judge among the nations, smiting heads over all the wide earth. He shall drink from the brook beside the way, therefore shall he lift high his head. The Lord is king and has put on glorious apparel. And then a psalm of praise, Psalm 150. The refrain, let everything has that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. O oh, praise God in his holiness. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise him upon the harp and the lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dances. Praise him upon the strings and pipe. Praise him with ringing cymbals. Praise him upon the clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. God of life and love whose Son was victorious over sin and death, make us alive with his life, that the whole world may resound with your praise through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So the first of our readings this morning is just a wonderful reading from Isaiah chapter 52. 
and beginning at verse 7. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your sentinels lift up their voices. Together they sing for joy, for in plain sight they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Depart, depart, go out from there, touch no unclean thing, go out from the midst of it, purify yourselves, you who carry the vessels of the Lord. For you shall not go out in haste, and you shall not go in flight, for the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your rear God. See, my servant shall prosper, he shall be exalted and lifted up, and shall be very high. Just as there were many who were astonished at him, so marred was his appearance beyond human semblance and his form beyond that of mortals. So he shall startle many nations. Kings shall shut their mouths because of him, for that which had not been told them they shall see, and that which they had not heard they shall contemplate. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And to our canticle for this morning and the refrain. See what the Lord God has done and exalt him in the sight of the living. Alleluia. Blessed be God who lives forever, whose reign endures throughout all ages. Declare God's praise before the nations, you who are the children of Israel. For if our God has scattered you among them, there too has he shown you his greatness. Exalt him in the sight of the living, because he is our Lord and God and our Father for ever. Though God punishes you for your wickedness, mercy will be shown to you. God will gather you from every nation, from wherever you have been scattered. When you turn to the Lord with all your heart and soul, God will guide his face, God will hide his face from you no more. See what the Lord has done for you and give thanks with a loud voice. Praise the Lord of righteousness, and exalt the King of the ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. See what the Lord our God has done, and exalt him in the sight of the living. Alleluia. So our second reading this morning is from Hebrews chapter 7. The first part of it is optional, so I'm just going to read the end of it, which is verses 26 to 28. The writer to the Hebrews speaks of Jesus as the great high priest. He writes this. For it was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, blameless, undefiled, separated from sinners and exalted above the heavens. Unlike the other high priests, he has no need to offer sacrifices day after day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. This he did once for all when he offered himself. For the law appoints as high priests those who are subject to weakness. But the word of the oath, which came later than the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. And this is Jesus. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Tell out his salvation from day to day. God has gone up with a merry noise. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. The Lord with the sound of the trumpet. Tell out his salvation from day to day. He has led captivity captive and given gifts to his people. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Tell out his salvation from day to day. 
And so before we come to prayer, we come to the Benedictus, the song of Zechariah. And to the refrain, I'm ascending to my Father and to your Father, to my God and your God. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I am ascending to my Father and to your Father, to my God and your God. Alleluia. Shall we pray? Father God, we do thank you and give you praise for this day on which we celebrate the ascension of Jesus, in which the plan of salvation can, continues through to Pentecost and then beyond for thousands of years. We thank you, Lord, for our own salvation. Thank you that we discovered you in the midst of us. Thank you that for us, Jesus showed the way. And Lord, on this day in which we begin thy kingdom come, we pray that for all peoples across the world, that they will discover Jesus, Son of God, Saviour of the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we begin today in thy kingdom come to pray for five people, we offer to God <clears throat> those people that we may have marked through the use of knots in a piece of string or written down their names or made origami hearts or however we've done that in preparation. We give you thanks, Lord, for each of those five people. And we come before you to pray for them and hold them before you. Loving Father, in the face of Jesus Christ, your light and glory have blazed forth. Send your Holy Spirit that we may share with our friends and family the life of your Son and your love for all. Strengthen us as witnesses to that love. And as we pledge to pray for them, Lord, bring them grace, mercy, life and love. In your name's sake. Amen. And Father, we thank you for thy kingdom come and thank you for the words of the Lord's Prayer. Thank you that across the globe this day, millions of people will pray that prayer. And Lord, all together we ask that your kingdom will come and your will be done. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks, Lord, for all those who are travelling to work this morning. 
We give you thanks that more and more people are able to do that. We pray, Lord, that people will find a new fulfilment in their work as they discovered what it's like to be without it. Lord, we have discovered in this last few weeks that the many things that we take for granted. Lord, help us never to do that again, but to appreciate all that we have and all that we have been given. We continue to pray for all those who are going to work in our care homes this morning and our nursing homes. For those in the community who are moving into people's homes to give them support first thing in the morning. We pray for those who are going into the hospital to start a long shift. And we pray for managers in hospitals this morning who are beginning to try to reorganise again and bring about a change so that more normal services might be resumed. Lord, the challenges of these days are massive and we thank you for the ways in which people have risen to them. Lord, we pray for strength and the energy to sustain through these next days and weeks. And we pray for our schools too. We pray for our schools in Fiskerton and Reefham for our primary and secondary school in Cherry Willingham and for our primary school in Scobham. We thank you for all the work that continues to be done and we thank you Lord for their nurturing of children and particularly those of key workers at this time. Lord in your mercy hear our prayer. Lord, we give you thanks for each other that we can come together via a different way of doing things, but that we can meet and gather. We pray for all those in our churches and in our communities who don't have the luxury of uh, being online. We pray for those who are feeling particularly isolated at the moment. We pray, Lord, that we might discover them and reach out a hand of friendship to them. And Lord, we pray for your church at this time. We pray with the many challenges that it has, that we might discover our new way of being, that we might appreciate one another, that we might come together in a sense of unity, shared belief as part of the body of Christ, knowing that in your ascension, you are praying for us every moment of every day. And Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are the great high priest. And we thank you for your prayers for us and the sacrifice that you made for us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that as we believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended to the heavens, so we in heart and mind may also ascend and with him continually dwell, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Looking for the coming of his kingdom, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. 
May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Well, thank you for sharing in morning prayer with me this morning. It's lovely to be able to share this together. Um, at nine o'clock this morning, I'll be doing a, a service of communion from home um, for Ascension Day. And at 2.30 this afternoon is our tea service. If you want to come to that, feel free to do that. Uh, but you'll need a, a, a Zoom link. Um, and I'll get that sent out to you this morning. And then at 7 o'clock will be Compline. That will be recorded. I've already also put a little children's story on um, Facebook for this, our schools. Okay, And that will be about the Ascension. So lots happening. Also online, the videos, the reflections have gone up for Thy Kingdom Come and they'll come out one at a time, uh, one for each day. And so this morning, uh, today's reflection is about the Ascension and again the link is on FaceTime but you can also pick those up on YouTube. Lots happening, lots of praying to do. Don't forget your five people, uh, pray for them. You don't just have to pray for them in the morning, pray for them whenever you think about praying. Okay, and uh, let's just offer those people to God. So all that remains for me is to say God bless all of you. Lots of love to all of you. And I might see some of you again in about an hour's time. God bless.